Hi guys, before we start the case, I want to share some concepts so that you can understand it more easily. C. A company is governed by two documents. The first document is known as Memorandum of Association, which is the main document of the company. It tells the objective of the company, limits its scope as what a company can do and cannot do. The second document is known as Articles of Association. It is the internal rules and regulations of the company. Doing anything beyond the memorandum and articles will make your contract ultra wires. The contract will become void, which means it will have no legal effect. Let me show you the memorandum's object clause of this company now. The object for which the company is established are to make and sell online or hire railway plants, to carry on business of mechanical engineers and general contractors. I am the representative of Rich, a firm of railway contractors. We want to get finance for the construction of the railway line in Belgium. Okay, sir. We will finance your company. Great then. Why are you looking so happy what happened? Oh yes, I am very happy today. We cracked a big deal today. We got to finance a company in Belgium, getting good interest. What? But yours is a manufacturing company. How can you do financing business? But the business is related to railway lines. So what is the problem? No, whatever the business is related to you cannot go beyond your memorandum of the company. The contract is ultra virus. And hence it has no legal effect. Okay, as you are a lawyer. I think you know it better than me. I will talk to Mr. Fred. Hello, Mr. Fred. Hello. What happened why you called me so urgently? Sir, we cannot continue the contract as it is ultra virus to our memorandum. What are you saying? You cannot breach the contract. I will sue you and your company. See you in the court, Mr. Sir. I am the representative of the firm Rich. I had the contract with Ashbury Railway Carriage and Iron Limited to finance us but they had breached the contract I want you to give us the compensation. Sir, but the contract was ultra virus of the memorandum and thus it was void from the beginning. Sir, but in the memorandum it was written that the company can do the general contractor. And thus they can finance without ultra viring the memorandum. The generality of the expression general contractors was limited to the previous words mechanical engineers on the principle of adjust dem generis. In the beginning itself, under the memorandum of the company didn't permit the company into a contract relating to financing construction of railway. But still the company went forward with it so the contract became null and void, as the memorandum didn't specify this power. The shareholders with the desire to make contract cannot authorize the director to enter into the contract as it was ultra virus. So the shareholders even cannot ratify the ultra virus contract. Whatever business the company does must be specified in the memorandum. And thus Ashbury Railway Carriage and Iron Limited has not done breach of contract as there is no such contract from the eyes of law. So, I hope, now you have understood the case law. So before contracting with a company, please check its memorandum and articles. Thank you.